Step 3. Creating the GDL object. Open the 2.6 Check 2D preset view in the Navigator view map. The floor plan shows the complete model. If you follow the previous steps precisely, you'll see this figure. Activate the 3.7 Check 3D preset view in the Navigator. The 3D window opens and you can check the consistency of your 3D model. Before we continue, we have to understand the concept of auto-saving GDL. The rule is very simple. The viewpoint of the 3D window will define the top view of the automatically saved library part. Thus, we have to look at the 3D model from a perpendicular top view. Activate the 2.8 Open the Top View preset view in the Navigator. This previously defined view set automatically sets the required 3D top view. Activate the file, Libraries and Objects, Save 3D Model As command. In the opening dialog, select a folder where you want to save the new object and enter coffee underscore table underscore 907b dot gsm in the save as field. The Save as Library Part dialog opens. Select the object type and turn on the Remove Redundant Lines from Symbol and the Editable GDL Script options. Click Save to create the object and to close this dialog. Activate the 2.9 Place the Object preset view in the Navigator view map. The floor plan shows the original model and indicates the point where you can place the object that has just been created. Double click on the object tool and make sure that coffee underscore table underscore 907b dot gsm is the active object. Click OK to return to the floor plan. Place the coffee table object on the floor plan with a click of the mouse where indicated by the label. Activate the 2.10 Check 3D preset view. The GDL model is now complete. In the next section, we'll add a preview picture to the library part and enhance the object's 2D symbol.